Hello, my dear friends. Today, I want to learn you how to discover final dispositor in your natal chart. To find your final dispositor is based on the traditional system of rulership which planet has the most power in your chart. To use this technique, you need to know, first of all, traditional rulership of each sign. As it is, Aries is ruled by Mars, Taurus is ruled by Venus, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, Cancer is ruled by Moon, Leo is ruled by Sun, Virgo is ruled by Mercury, Libra is ruled by Venus, Scorpio is ruled by Mars, traditional, and Pluto, modern. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, Aquarius is ruled by Saturn, traditional, and by Uranus, modern. Pisces is ruled by Jupiter, traditional, and Neptune, modern. There are three major types of dispositor, final dispositor, that means one powerful planet that disposes every planet in the chart. Planets in mutual reception, a pair of planets that dispose each other as well as the rest of the planets in the chart. A repeating loop of three or more planets that act as a group dispositors. There will be chart examples of well-known individuals for each type. Every dispositor will itself have a dispositor until you get to one that you designate a final dispositor. This final dispositor can become very influential, especially when it is the final one of many or all the planets in a natal chart. I use only seven traditional planets because they are relevant anyway. Keep it simple when you uh, learn astrology. On another hand, it's very important to see if the final dispositor is stronger because it depends also of some other criteria. It's important if this final dispositor is the ascendant ruler, it's placed in an angular house, it means the first, the tenth, the seventh, or the fourth, or in a productive house, 11, 5, or 9. It is a part of a stellium, more than three planets in a place, in a sign, in a house. It is the same sign with moon, ascendant, or sun, but is not combust. It is conjunction with a benefic fixed star, and it is a direct motion. Let's have a few examples. For this example, I use uh, seven traditional planets and a uh, whole sign home system. Let's start with my natal chart. I am Pisces with ascendant in Leo. So, ascendant in Leo is ruled by the sun. The sun is in Pisces and is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is in Scorpio and is ruled by Mars. Mars in, is in Aries and is the final dispositor for my natal chart because uh, Aries sign is ruled by Mars. No matter what planet I analyze in the beginning of the chain, the final dispositor is, is the same, Mars in Aries. Mars in Aries also meets criteria B and F. It means that it's, it is placed in a productive house, in this case in nine house, and it is in direct motion. Let's see Steffi Graf natal chart, the famous tennis player. She is Gemini with ascendant in Gemini. So, 
Ascendant Sun and Moon in Gemini are ruled by Mercury. Jupiter in Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mars in Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Then again Jupiter in Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Saturn in Taurus is ruled by Venus. The winner and the final dispositor is Mercury in Gemini because meet the criteria A, B, C, D, and E. It's the ruler of Ascendant. It is placed in an angular house. It's in a part of the stellium. It is the same sign with Moon, uh, Ascendant, and uh, Sun. And also, it is in a direct uh, motion, conjunct with a benefic star. Mm. Let's look at the Woody Allen natal chart. Woody Allen is Sagittarius with Ascendant in Virgo. Ascendant is ruled by Mercury. Mercury in Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Sun in Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Mars in Capricorn and Moon in Aquarius are ruled by Saturn. Saturn in Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. Venus in Libra is in its own rulership. The winner and final dispositor is Jupiter in Sagittarius because meets also criteria B, C, D and F. It is placed in an angular house, in the fourth house. Uh, it's a part of Stellium. It is in the same sign uh, with the sun, but is not combusting. Try to play with this technique and you will realize how important is the final dispositor in your natal chart. Have a nice day.